All right, welcome guys. I know this isn't the right habitat or the right scenery for what this video is about, but what you guys are about to watch is we're gonna go surf perch fishing. We just decided to pull over on the side of the road. I'm just gonna hike up this and just see what's around the corner. Um, this is black tails and Roosevelt elk habitat. So it's very green considering it's almost August. It's gonna pick up here and then uh, we're gonna go to the ocean and go catch some surf perch. So stick along and I'll catch you guys when we get there. My rig didn't get that much good hook set. One thing I love about the beach is so much living things around you. Well, this one's dead, but this signifies there was something living here. That's a crab. I think that's a Dungeness crab. I think this is just just the shell so I don't know much about crabs so maybe he shed or this guy is completely dead I don't know not much of a expert when it comes to the ocean but I always love to you know just come out and learn Alright, here we go. We are gonna try right next to this jetty first, and then we'll just slowly move our way down that way. But high tide is at 12. Right now is, I'm not sure, but it is this o'clock. So we're gonna walk out there, try to cast as far as we can. Just cast close first. If they're not there, I'll try to cast farther. Finally, fish on, baby. Oh, did he come off? Oh, I think, no, I don't think I, I don't know. I don't think I lost him. No, he's on. There we go. First one. It's not bad. here. All it takes is one. Oh, fish on. It fished out, baby. You got one too? Oh, dude, this guy's big. Got, oh, this guy's huge. Yeah, this guy's huge. That's what you always think, but it's just them coming in. This guy is big. Well, at least he felt big. Oh yeah. Back to back. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, this guy is nice. Oh yeah, this guy's big, dude. Hey. 
Uh, let some line loose. Cast farther. Oh yeah, back to back, baby. I think I think the school's here. We're finally here. All right, let's try to get. I think I just missed one. Let's see if he come back for it. I have a fish. What? I don't think I do. Feels very heavy though. I might have a fish. I don't think I do, but if I do, it's probably a small one. <laughs> I, was, I thought I heard him. Going? Dude, I didn't even know this guy was on. I just felt like the smallest vibration. Keep it. All right, finally fish on. After like an hour and a half. Yeah, dude, this guy's big, dude. He's fighting. Ran that upper lip. I ran out of bait, so I caught three. So I'm gonna put them into or deposit them into our uh, bucket, and then we'll go out there with an empty bag. There's the one. Yeah. All right, there we go. Feels like a decent one. Oh, killing drag. Killing drag. That's a decent one. I'll take them. We are done. We caught three. My brother caught six. We got a total of nine. Um, fishing kind of slowed down this morning when it was perfect, which was like right before high tide and going into high tide. We couldn't find the fishes, so we started all the way over by the jetty. And we slowly worked our way to our right, as I said. And we eventually found them, but that was a little too late, so. We're gonna head back to the car and basically just go home. That is my clothes because the water got inside me. The fish are in here. So, we just got home. And gosh, it is so stinking hot right now. After a fishing trip like this, what I'm not used to doing is like washing stuff. So since we're fishing salt water and like fresh water, if you don't rinse your stuff off with uh, like tap water or fresh, actual fresh water, and you just let your stuff sit there, it's gonna rust because of the salt from the salt water. And so one thing that I'm not used to is getting home and then just rinsing it. Usually I just get home, put the rods away, put everything away, but now like, it's like the, the work never ends. So I'm still taking out some stuff from the truck and putting in the backyard so I can ru rinse it real quick. Things like my gators, my fishing poles, my cameras, my or my GoPros, anything that touched salt, I have to rinse. And apart from that, there's sand everywhere. From when you're fishing on the beach, go minimum. The first time I went there, dude, I got sand everywhere. It was a mess.
All right, so right now I'm gonna actually prepare this little fish right here. So this is a good, you know, just a good decent sized little surf perch. And I was actually planning to just scale this fish and then just deep fry the whole body. But when it comes to cleaning fish, scaling a fish is probably my least favorite part uh, of the process. It's easy, but it's more so the idea that it gets really messy because scales fly everywhere. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually just gonna fillet this fish and I'm just gonna batter it up. We're just gonna do some fish fry. But yeah, here we go. This is the surf perch I'm about to cook up. Just gonna cut into the head like that. Just gonna flip it around, go like this. Poke it out. Poke it out the other side. Bam, like that. And just follow the, the bone. Cut right behind the head like that. Follow up like this. Poke it all the way through. And just go through. I guess a surf perch, I would describe it for those of you who don't, who aren't familiar with like ocean fish, just like me, I would just, I would just describe it as a saltwater crappie. All right. All right, there we have it. These are my two boneless Lays. All right, so here's some fish seasoning. So that's enough for that. Get some of this excess, just slide around. That way we don't waste as much. That's more than enough. Make sure we get some flour. Since I only have two uh, pieces of fillets, I don't need a lot of flour. Just shake it off, put it to the side. The other one in and there we go bread crumbs put some like that that's all there's the egg i'm just gonna take the knife simply because i don't want to do too much dishes all right so Here's my breadcrumbs. Fish will go into the eggs. Just mix it around. All right, so oil's ready. Here's my two pieces of filet of my perch. Perfect. And the other one goes right there as well. Stick. There we go. It's a waiting game. And there we have it. Those are the two fillets off the surf perch. I am actually not that hungry, so literally I was gonna make something else, but this looks like plenty of food already, so I'm just gonna eat it real quick with this, and then I'm gonna finish editing this video, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Boom, all right, so here it is. Just a quick little snack, but you guys can see I just put it on a paper towel, let the paper towel drain the oil a little bit, and so I'm just gonna this way and then we're just gonna eat it with um, some good old tartar sauce because that's like essentially this is my favorite way to eat any kind of fish you give me any kind of fish that's battered and just deep fried and then just 
add some tartar sauce to it. I will eat that all day as long as the fish, as long as the fish doesn't taste horrible, which I don't think I've tasted any fish that tastes horrible. All fish can be good depending on how you prepare it. I think you can never go wrong with just simply battering it up and then eating it like this. But what I will do is I will just eat it without tartar sauce first and then give you guys um, basically what I think of the meat. From an observation standpoint, I want you guys to look. Alright, so that's how it looks. The meat is really flaky. It reminds me of just like a crappie. So, you know, it's flaky. Uh, some fish, such as trout, they're a lot more like just mushy meat, but this is actually very flaky. Like, you guys see, it's very flaky. And when you eat it, oh, that was good. When you eat it, it doesn't taste like flaky like a crappie. So even though it looks like it's flaky, when you eat it, it's almost like it melts in your mouth. So it's more of a texture of like a walleye. So in terms of texture, when you actually eat it, it reminds me of a walleye. But when you just look at it, it reminds me of a crappie. But when you talk about taste, it reminds me of a mixture of taste between a walleye and a crappie. For you freshwater fishermen out there, I guess that's the best way I can describe it. This is basically a mixture of a walleye and a crappie, and it is pretty dang good. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna tartar sauce. So we'll just break off another piece. Here we go. Just dip it like that. Mmm. That is so good. So I guess this is a better representation of how it actually looks. It's like small flakes versus crappie where they're a little bit bigger in terms of flake size. But, dude, this thing is bomb. I can eat this fish for the rest of my life. If you told me I could only eat one fish for the rest of my life in a little surf perch, I would have no hesitation. This stuff is good. Like even though I say it tastes like a walleye and a crappie, mixed together for some reason there's something unique and distinct about this meat right here that i guess my description of walleye mixed with crappie would kind of be inaccurate although for the most part in the generalization that's true in my opinion there's something about just this meat in general that makes it a little bit more unique mm. it's hard to beat just fish fry and tartar sauce this stuff is bomb All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I just killed those two pieces of fillets from my surf perch. I should have cooked another one that because it was just so good. I didn't feel hungry, but as soon as I started eating, I was like, man, I should have cooked another one. But I just wanted to quickly show you guys basically what I thought of surf perch uh, in terms of their meat eating. A lot of fish I eat, I eat exactly how I cook this, just batter it up with breadcrumbs and then just eat with tartar sauce. I felt like it wouldn't have been a fair comparison if I cooked surf perch a completely different way and compared it to how some of the other fish taste because when you cook two different recipes with two different fish, you're not getting a very fair comparison. So I just wanted to cook surf perch the same way I usually cook fish and just give it, you know, a very fair comparison. And um, the bottom line is surf perch is delicious. If you ever get a chance to just come out and fish for surf perch, I highly recommend you to do so. They are very delicious um, and they're pretty big too. So you get good amounts of meat on them. You get even more if you don't fillet them. But any questions, just feel free to leave it in the comments. And yeah, that's the bottom line. Surf perch is delicious. Definitely in the future, I'm going to come back and fish for more surf perch. But for now, this is it. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.